Hey everybody, Sal here again with another video tutorial. Uh, today I thought I'd do a video on transferring some uh, some of your files from the from Xbox to Xbox. So let's say you picked up a new Xbox uh, Slim and you had information that you want to transfer transfer over to your new one, such as game saves and possibly even game downloads and stuff like that. This can be done without ordering the cable. Um, I guess you would only order that transfer cable is if you had the hard drive and you had no way of getting another um, another Xbox to connect it to because this method which has uh, been available on the Xbox since spring of 2010 I believe I could be wrong but they just um, made the feature part of the Xbox where you can transfer all your files onto USB key um, and connect it to your new hard drive, uh, new Xbox, and just transfer the files right over. I've uh, I've tried this and it works. Uh, so we're gonna get the camera from another angle here uh, onto the uh, onto the monitor uh, to show you how it's done. Um, and I think they introduced this because they got rid of the memory card slots on the new Xbox. So um, the, this is something that the PlayStation 3 does already. Um, transferring game saves and all that stuff to memory keys. Um, so let's get on with it. This is uh, transferring your data from one hard drive, one Xbox hard drive to another, uh, but you'll need uh, both systems to do this. So let's say you do have a hard drive. I mean there's tons of Xboxes out there. I'm sure several of your friends have it. I mean it's just a matter of going over there, uh, connecting the key, transferring the stuff. You may have to do it two three times. Depends how much stuff you have because you're obviously limited by the size of uh, memory you have and I think the Xbox only recognizes up to 16 gigs so that should be enough. I mean unless it's video and movies and stuff like that um, yeah you're gonna have to make a few trips. So let's get on with it alright? Okay we're here on the second camera um, so what we're gonna do is I got the USB key already uh, installed into the system. So we're going to go to System Settings, Memory, and then go to your USB key and configure now. And what you're going to do is you're going to want to format it. Okay? Click Yes. Now I went into Configure Device. So it's just going to test it and configuring stor uh, storage uh, device. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. If it does, I'll just cut and start when it's completed. So it says it's ready, but <clears throat> what I want to do is... Um, okay, it's done. 3.3 gigs free. It's a 4 gigabyte stick. So, um, let's say... Uh, okay, go to the... Select the hard drive. Hit Y to transfer content. Now you want to select the destination which is the memory unit it's already selected just select it and then you go down the list and um, see the check boxes if you can see the check boxes that's what um, is selected to transfer over okay so I mean let's just say we want okay these are the hard drive games so let's just say we want to uh, I got let's do something quick here game room let's say we just do game room okay so let's unselect everything oh. okay so we've unselected it go back and then go down the list until you've got everything and there's the meter available space okay once you've selected what you wanted you click start okay and now it's transferring over Okay, transfer complete, A to continue. Now, it's transferred over. As you can see on the USB memory unit, it's 2.6 gigabytes free, so the material has been copied over. All right, now when you want to restore, let's say you go to your new the Xbox now, everything is the same, the, okay? You go back into memory, and then go into memory unit, and then you hit Y again to transfer content, content. Now select the destination, which is your hard drive, select it, and 
um, I believe everything is already selected off the USB key. Okay, so then you just click start and the content will copy over to your new system. And that's it. That's how you move content over from one Xbox to another without ordering a, um, a transfer cable. Again, you would only use a transfer cable if you had no access to another Xbox um, or if you just wanted to do it in one swoop, you know, one shot, transfer it over and, and get it done. Uh, because depending on how much content you have, you may have to do it multiple times. But uh, but that's it. Hopefully this is a tip that uh, you guys will find useful and will use if you ever have to um, update, uh, sorry, ever have to get a whole new console. All right, this is Sal and uh, signing off. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm always looking for subscribers. Um, so please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. If you like my videos, click the like button. I really appreciate it. And um, hopefully I'll have another idea and put out another video real soon. Thanks.